Ah, oh, fuck. A hotness. Oh, absolute hotness. Let's, uh, let's make sure everything is on the up and up. Oh, that was a bad burp. My local pig, that's hysterical. Hey, Xavier, it's first, that's funny. Yeah, they beat you too, dog. Damn, why is this not showing up here? I love the uh, the the community I've established here. That the um, the instead of saying "Hey, man, how you doing?" it's more of a "Hey, cunt, how are you, cunt?" I'm aware that that's my own fault, but I just find that hysterical. Uh, I don't know why I'm not seeing my other stream here. That's not a good thing. Great way to start with uh, some difficulties here. Huh, fuck it. Fuck it. Time to upgrade. That's funny. Uh, pig cunt, hey. Sub pig. Hey, god in sleight of hand. I wouldn't call myself a god in sleight of hand. Um, I, I, I mean, to be a deity in sleight of hand, that's a little bit uh, excessive. Ah, uh, how fucking... Fuck it. All right, we'll just do it from the phone. See, for uh, b behind the scenes here, my laptop's over here, and usually I'm like, oh, hey, you know what? I could look at the comments on this amazing new setup that YouTube has here. You know, YouTube's redesigned here, designed with the, uh, with the user in mind, but it turns out that their um, they're, they're redoing of their website here uh, really, doesn't really, really doesn't aid in any sort of uh, improvements on the back end here, but fuck it. Uh, we all died at the end, so... Let's just uh, go through this stuff. So yeah, so hey guys, how y'all doing? Um, let me see, let me look through these comments right off the bat. Uh, uh, what up, pig cunts? Fuck it. I like it when I'm on other channels and cunt bombs are being thrown. That's always a good thing, I guess. Uh, you are dope. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Some uh, some uh, god and slice of ham. That's you know uh, the the whole pig thing. That is kind of a weird thing. Um, I never thought I would have associated a nickname with uh, with with pigs, uh, you know. But I guess that's who I've become. I've become the pig. <coughs> so I just wanted to talk a little bit about, I guess, the tricks and the stuff that I put out this week. Give you guys a little bit of a hot preview as to what's coming up uh, in the next week as far as the stuff that I'm going to put up. And then hopefully we could call it a stream. We could call it a hot stream. Not, not just a stream, a hot stream, which I'm pretty sure it's a, a sexual move if you look it up on UrbanDictionary.com. People, ha people aren't liking the Minecraft stuff, man. I'm a, little bit, I'm a little bit pissed because I'm like, hey, man, it's just a, a good opportunity here to share some <laughs> share me playing the greatest game of all time, Minecraft, you know, and, and, some pe and people aren't enjoying that. That video had like 80, 88 dislikes. Xavier, yeah, but I made two other videos that were, um, uh, they started off as card tricks, but really, uh, it's it just me playing Minecraft for 20 minutes. <laughs> I think that's why people are pissed off. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'd be kind of pissed too, honestly, now that I think about it. If I wanted, if I'm, hey man, I'm going to learn a, a clever card trick, especially with the title of the video. I think it was the uh, greatest card trick of all time. And instead, I see a, a dumb cunt playing Minecraft for 20 fucking minutes. And not even well. Not even well. <laughs> should I, 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 I don't know. Should I do a, a pig cake Minecraft channel? Should I, should I turn? <laughs> should I sell out? Is it 2000? What, what, what year did the Minecraft come out? <laughs> That's phenomenal. Oh, yeah, I did title it. Best card trick ever tutorial. 87 dislikes. Easy self-working card trick. 73 dislikes. <laughs> oh, I'm a bad person. And then this one. Pig Cake Plays. Minecraft Fun. And it's, it's, an, it's a card trick. And it's a good one. It's a good one. It's a, it's a little bit of an ace production. Uh, somebody actually get, uh, somebody mentioned in the comments if you could do the Benzai spin-out move uh, with that trick. And yeah, you can. Because uh, in that trick, it's a slip cut. 
and then this sort of uh, way to, to launch out the, uh, the first taste. But it definitely works with a Benzai spin out move. Uh, if you want, of course, that card launched all the way over there. It does work. The only difference is that you're going to have to turn over the right-handed packet instead of the uh, left-handed packet to do the uh, the production. Uh, but somebody did mention that. If you haven't seen that video yet and don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, it's the one that says uh, Pig Kick plays Minecraft fun. Uh, I was just reading the comments and somebody mentioned that, and that was kind of an interesting idea there. So check out that video. Uh, it's not Minecraft. Uh, let me just save you the troll. <laughs> I'm a bad person. Uh, you shouldn't trust me. Um, so somebody did mention that that was kind of a hot looking thing and it does look good. I like this whole thing uh, of the aces just coming from nowhere. I don't know why this thing is not popping up. Let me look at these. Uh, is the Minecraft channel going to be card tricks? You know what? That would actually be hysterical. Hey, now it works. Uh, that would be actually hysterical. A Minecraft channel, but it's all it would annoy so many people that play Minecraft. Hey, I thought this was a Minecraft channel. That's fucked. Uh, hey, now, okay, now it works. That's dope. That's a joke. I'm not going to do a Minecraft channel. I'm not going to do that. That's, that's not a thing. <laughs> Get a job. Let me send a text real quick. And see something here. Let me, uh, let me send a text here real quick. Before anything. And make sure. <laughs> of course, I'm dying for a, a reason here that Pickaxe's name starts with A or E, I'm sure. That's not true. What do you think? I mean, A or E, that's, that's fucked. Let me actually look through these, see if there's anything interesting. I heard you are close to recording the first episode of Direction. Yeah, we, we keep delaying it because I'm kind of a cunt. Uh, <laughs> oh, that is fucking funny. What? Hold up. What? Let me, let me uh, tie some loose ends here. Not okay. Hey, okay, there you go. That's fucking hysterical. That's fucking hysterical. Uh, let me see these and see if there's any hot, actual hot stuff. <coughs> uh, too early, go back to sleep. Please show us how to do your double lift. I don't know what double lift you talk about. If that's uh, a double lift that you see me do, or just like a general one, because my favorite one are the one that you you pull up the back here as 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 high as possible, and you stick your pinky in the entire way, and then you lift it up like this, and then you put it back down, and then you do this, and then it change. That's my favorite double lift. That's my my favorite one. Uh, I recommend that's the one you do for everyone. <coughs> <laughs> That killed me. Hold on, let me let me send another hot text here. <laughs> That's fucking great. Uh, get your face in front of the camera. I've already explained why I'm not gonna do that uh, for several reasons. I'm glad to just have you join us for the first time here. Harrison Zeller dropping two hot dollars. That's gonna turn into a uh, um. A Diet Coke because I like, uh, I enjoy slobbing on the dick. Thank you for supporting the cause, Harrison. That's funny. What cause? That should be going out to like Houston, man. Not, not pig cunt. Pig cake is a bald 48 year old man with a beard. You know, I'm going to check out your channel, Joke Nut, and see. Uh, let me, <laughs> let me see. Um, let me see if you, let me see what you are based on your channel here. Uh, joke nut, you have, you have quite a bit of a channel here, dog. <laughs> you have quite a bit of a channel here, joke nut, 33,000 subs. Uh, you're playing, let's see, what game are you playing here? You're playing CSGO. That's fucking dope. You have more subs than I do, dude. What the fuck? 
if Valve had a phone line, uh, you, you have uh, um, Counter Strike here. That's that's hot, dude. Yeah, what the fuck, man? What are you doing watching a cunt like me? Joke not is fake news. <laughs> Joke not is definitely fake news here, motherfucker. Shitting on me, calling me a forty-eight-year-old virgin. What do you got here? You got, you got some fucking CS:GO, dog. What the fuck? <laughs> Stop. That's funny. No, no, see, that's the thing. You, you. Let me see what you actually called me. It's a bald forty-eight-year-old man with a beard. That, that is true. But in looking at your actual games here, let me click on one of your videos and see how it is that you sound like. Let me check this out and see how it is. You, is joke not dead? Let's check that video out. Fuck, this might be interesting. Hey guys. Yes, oh so shit. Me. Oh bad. shit. Yeah. Hold up, is that you? Because I see a picture of you role playing in CSGO. Alright. Is best. that you with the picture that. that Because uh, there's a picture of here where a guy's flexing and he looks jacked. Is that you, dog? Because if that's you, I don't want to keep talking shit about you. It's called uh, role playing in CS:GO. There's a picture of you here, it's like the thumbnail. I don't wanna. If that's you, then fuck that. All right, I'm gonna stop before you actually find me and decide to uh, actually whoop my ass. Fuck, that's funny. That was me when I was 19. I'm 21 now. This is getting fucking weird. That got, that got immediately fucking weird. We all have our, our old cringe videos. Yeah, I would say. I think the first videos I made were pretty cringy. Not cringy. The first one. Actually, the second one is my favorite video. The first one was pretty cringy. The third one is cancer. I should actually uh, privatize that video because of how bad it was. See, in my head, I'm like, oh, this is funny. You know, I'm going to do that. And then it, it, wasn't, it wasn't funny. It was not even close to being funny. I should, you know, I'm going to privatize that one. Fuck that. <laughs> Let me see these here. <coughs> so wait, okay. So as far as things that I put this week that weren't necessarily Minecraft troll videos. Um, let me see if there's anything that's hot that I did put out. Uh, oh yeah, the, this the the this thing was kind of hot. Uh, in Bobo's coin magic, you have a uh, that switch that's overused as fuck. Uh, this little thing with the screw in the nickel trick, uh, that little thing is from a Magic for Dummies book, which I don't know why they get a bad rap. They're actually pretty dope as far as the ideas that they have in there. Uh, but that trick is from that. Now the Bobo switch itself, I think I put the link. In the description as to where you can buy it, I'm sure you can find it online. It's been that long, uh, but that is a fucking phenomenal book. There's some weird shit in there. There is some weird fucking like weird moves in there that nobody would ever do. It's like a coin move where you throw it up, and then you it's some weird shit. But that is definitely a a great book to get if you are uh, interested in that sort of shit. Uh, Sub attack joke nut. That's fucked. I think you can get like banned off YouTube for that. For, for harassing other people, they're all they've gone soft. Uh, can you do a muscle pass? There's a video of me showing you how to do a muscle pass. I can't do it now because I don't have a coin. And if I, uh, unless you're saying for me to do it with this, you can't. Uh, no, but I there's a I there's a video of me teaching the muscle pass. The demono. Cunt. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, so yeah, so there there's a video of me doing that. So. Uh, that's hotness. Jokna, uh, honestly, Jokna, what are you doing watching my shit? You have like a hot channel and you're watching, um, a, a cunt do magic tricks. So that I don't know what, um, I don't know what you're doing, dog, with your life. <coughs> Why you know do Balkan slow motion? Because I forgot the, uh, Balkans were a thing. That's why. I forgot. Honestly, that's even worse uh, when you forget that a a country is a thing. 
So I'm sorry I haven't done a Balkan slow motion yet, but uh, I will if that makes you feel good. Uh, I already quit, quit YouTube, which is why I regret it, because I was making hot money, and now it's too late to start back up. No, I don't think so. Why would it be too late to start back up? Because all those original people that are watching your stuff aren't going to... I like, I like uh, having a legitimate conversation <laughs> with another YouTuber here about YouTube stuff. I regret because I was making hot money. Yeah, I imagine, uh, especially when CSGO was hot, you were probably banking on that motherfucker. Hey, there you go. That's funny shit. Uh, how do you do the card flips in your flipping aces one at a time demo? Oh, that is the Asher twist. That's the Asher twist. Again, that's not mine, which is why I don't want to teach it. Because again, I'm not a cunt. But uh, that's the Asher twist. If you want to look it up, it's called, it's this is how you spell it. I know it sounds like something you, uh, definitely sounds like something you would probably do at a, at a gay club. But uh, no, that's, that's a hot move. Uh, it's, it's the one where you're, you hold the aces like this. And then you squeeze them up and then they, they turn over one at a time. Yeah, that's um, it's the Asher twist. Uh, again, I don't want to teach it because it's not mine. Uh, so, yeah, that's hotness. It's a, it's a great fucking movie. Anything by Lee Asher is, is golden. Give me a U. Okay, okay, cunt. Uh, I put Asher twist up my ass last time. That's interesting. You know, I've always thought that it would be funny because now that you mentioned, uh, which superpower would you rather have? Having the power to summon pies and throw them at people or have the power to levitate human beings only to throw them in a giant... That's stupid. What the... F I actually thought it would be amazing to have superpowers, but you had to do really gay things in order to, like, activate them. So, for example, you, um, you, could, uh, you could levitate, but you have to have your thumb in your butthole. I've always thought that would be, like, a... a the best compromise in terms of doing actual superpowers. Uh, but wait, which one would you rather have? Throw my people with how to levitate human beings only to throw them. I feel like you are 11 years old, Papa Adrian, for asking that question. I feel like you have to be under 12. Am I correct? Am I correct in saying that, that you are under the age of 12? I'm waiting for an answer here, dog. 21? Damn, dog. Damn, dog. Come on, man. You can't just do that. That's a straight middle school question if I've ever heard it. <laughs> Rick, Rick Lex. Rick Lex. That's actually the greatest. Uh, that's actually the greatest. Show us some flourishes on this brand new uh, piggy. This is actually a um, uh, shit you wipe your feet on. Uh, this is actually something you wipe your feet on. Uh, I don't know why it's come to be used as that. Uh, sh hot flourishes. Yeah, right here. Boom. Look at that. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Oh, snap. What's... Okay, that was awful. But, um, let me see. There used to be a whole bunch of on-the-table shit. Uh, who was that guy? Jerry Sat... Not Sadowitz. Uh, there was a dude... Well, Devo, back in, like, 10 years ago, used to do some hot table shit. And then there was another guy. Uh, again, some fucking crazy European guy that'll do a bunch of like table shit and I've always seen those videos and I'm like this is too much for me even me having negative uh negative fucking life I would say that's still too much for me and definitely pushing it uh wait hold up somebody says would you rather fight a hundred duck sized elephants or fuck Or fuck, sized elephants. How does that, how does that make sense? <laughs> Rick lacks heart. Yeah, that was interesting. He did put a uh, don't stop. I'm almost done. Come on, man. The fuck. Uh, Rick lacks is an interesting figure because he did kind of do this whole stirred up this whole drama shit recently, uh, and I did do the little stupid pig alerts on that. But it is interesting to see uh, that side of magic in terms of you know, what he deems is worth to, to defend. I mean, he was defending Jabrizi, who literally got caught with his, like, dick in his hands. That guy literally got caught with his dick in his hands, and he's still, 
you know, trying to, uh, instead of apologizing and being the bigger man, the guy says, uh, oh yeah, all y'all are just haters. All y'all are haters, jealous of my, my fucking, like, dude, come on, man. <laughs> come on, come on, man. There's uh, actually, now that I might as well, uh, on Instagram, uh, somebody did send me a video on how to do a Jabrizi video. The guy did a uh, top change. He did a top change, but of course there were people behind him, like reacting. So he does a top change for the camera, which is right here. He goes, hey, and then the people around him uh, went fucking crazy showing you how to do a Jabrizi video. That sh I lost my fucking mind watching that video. That's fucking... He's the only black magician, so chill with that. You know, Robert, the uh, the amount of knowledge that you have there is kind of uh, kind of scary. It kind of leads me to think that you've been um, watching <laughs> watching all my shit. Let me uh, let me see if I can do this here. <laughs> That's funny shit. Yeah, well, technically, he did say he's the only black magician, which is hysterical. Um, of course, negating people like Michael Vincent, I don't know, Marcus Eddy, fucking, uh, who's blacker? Who's blacker than Jabrizi? Daryl was blacker than Jabrizi. Get the fuck out of here. That Jabrizi is the only black magician. Hey, Chris Rock, that's funny. Who's blacker than Jabrizi? He has like f uh, fucking uh, Russian genius is fucking blacker than Jabrizi. The fuck out of here with that shit. Yeah, R.I.P. Daryl. Yeah, he is. Shin Lim is blacker. That's funny. Ha. <laughs> uh, hold up. Let me go through these here real quick. What videos did I put out? There's a shit ton of videos that I have not put out yet. Uh, okay, so there's that one. Do as I do, peak finesse. Would you do a magician fooler tut? Do you mean like a trick that fool magicians? Because I, I barely know any. To be honest, Eric Jones, how did I forget? Uh, Eric Jones. But yeah, I, I don't know a lot of tricks that, uh, that are like magician fooler tricks. I don't think there's any point to learning those. I mean, there is, yeah, I guess there's a point, but eh, just to me, I... I prefer learning just easy stuff. My kind of school of thinking when it comes to tricks is more of the John Kerry sort of ideas. That John Kerry just tries to look for the, the simplest way to do something. Uh, even if that necessarily isn't going to fool other people that are, you know, um, good at card stuff. Uh, so that's kind of the way I'm, I think about stuff. I'm struggling with my one-handed shuffle. I don't know if you actually mean like the one-handed shuffle or you. that's like a metaphor for... Uh, for for sexual, Let's see if I could drop one here. Hey, wow, dude. Yeah, that's that's cool, dude. Yeah, man, I'm doing it. I'm fucking doing it. Somebody just asked me if I like the citizen playing a uh, deck of cards. Yeah, uh, uh, obviously with these. Uh, let me see. If, holy shit, dude. Here I am trying to show off. Let me use a different deck here. I could do this. Oh, fucking A. Fuck it. See, I got it half now, which is great. Son of a bitch. Let me see if I could do that without doing it off fucking camera. Uh, and somebody asked if I watch Scam Sue. Yeah, I, I watch it with my dick out. Oh boy, let's see. Can I do this? Without doing this fucking awful move? There you go. There you go. Okay. Fuck. Uh, th these cards are very stiff. Somebody just said, uh, these cards are, skiff are stiff as shit. Uh, usually they go in like these, uh, not to shill Alex Pandrea's cards out, but uh, with his cards, they go in very easily. Uh, these cards, I don't know, for some reason, they're made out of like a fucking, a pedo's dick or some shit. I don't know. Uh, but they're, they're just, uh, hard to bend. I see this. Thanks, dog. It's really knacky. I'll keep practicing. Yeah, it's a, that's a move. This is a move you definitely don't want to... If you want to... Um, if you want to, you know, try to pretend like you have some sort of a social life, don't do this move. Don't do this fucking move because then people are going to be like, oh, okay, you spent a lot of fucking time by yourself, dog. Um, but yeah. Hey, did you, somebody just dropped 10 hot Canadian dollars on me. Is it bad that my, my Americanness and I'm... 
that I feel almost like a traitor to my country for, for thanking you for dropping 10 hot Canadian dollars on me. Z true style. But thanks, dog. I, I appreciate that hotness. That uh, hot kick. <laughs> and of course, your comment is Canada. That's fucking great. Those Canadian dollars. Hey, can somebody do the exchange on that? How is the uh, exchange? We're less than that, right? The American dollar is less than that shit. Damn, man, that's disappointing. You guys did give us Celine Dion. Uh, you guys did give us um, Justin Bieber. Uh, I think Jim Carrey's Canadian. Uh, who else? Uh, who else did you guys give us? Well, Celine Dion, right off the bat, is worth you know. F I'd I'd kill a small tree monkey. Drake, yeah. Um, good old Aubrey. You, I would kill a small tree monkey uh, to 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 even breathe the same air that Celine Dion uh, breathes. So, Chris Ramsey's Canadian. Holy shit. I forget all those guys are Canadian. Uh, Chris Ramsey, Peter McKinnon. I think uh, that's why they're so nice. They're from Canada. Americans are cunts, man. We're fucking cunts. Sean Farquhar. Fuck. Yeah, I didn't even realize. Holy diver. Everyone was Canadian. Damn, man. Yeah, we are. You know what? We're the only dicks, dude. We are the only dicks. Fuck. <laughs> Based on that name, she's Russian. I don't know. Uh, that's, that's just me stereotyping. Jay Sankey, motherfucker. Yeah, you're right. He's Canadian. I think they're slowly invading us. That's what's happening. They are slowly invading us. And then eventually, uh, we're going to be the new Canada. Uh, can you give me a super visual card trick and write the name of it in the comments? Uh, super visual trick and write the name on the comments. That's hard. That's fucking hard. I know a lot of visual tricks. Uh, there is... Fuck. Nah, dude. I, I gotta tell you. I can't think of any right off my bat. Let's see what this guy says. I kind of feel like we're hanging out. That's funny. Uh, you... God damn. Somebody said that I, they thought I was Irish? When you first heard my voice? That's fucked, dude. Uh, pick, yeah, I'm definitely blacker than Jabrizi. And I'm offended. Uh, back in time, joke, uh, Juke Nut. Sorry, I, was, I almost called you Joke Nut. Uh, but Back in Time, that's a hot one uh, by Jay Sankey. It's the one where you do the, the slop shuffle. You're doing this whole thing. Uh, of course, I don't want to teach you because it's not mine, but you're doing uh, the Sid Lorraine slop shuffle, and then you're doing a whole double lift, which is kind of hotness. Uh, but that's, that's my favorite trick to do right off the bat um, for anything, you know. Uh, but let me look through these. Jabrizi will save you from a Canadian invasion. If I'm ever in Chicago, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to um, call him out and then watch him show up with a crew and just fucking whoop my ass. I mean, that would that would be a good video though. That would make a phenomenal video. Uh, yeah, but it's his trick. Um, it's Jay Sankey's trick. So even though he taught it on his channel, it's, that still doesn't justify me teaching it on my channel. That really, that's kind of dicky. Uh, so yeah, so he yeah, so Jay Sankey's trick back in time. That's my favorite trick of all time. That is my favorite trick of all time. Uh, I just think that it's it's the right combination of shit. Uh, in terms of uh, just that the story is perfect, the trick is perfect. It really has a, ties it up in a nice, neat, nice, neat bow. <coughs> when were we fist fighting? That's fucked. Uh, I didn't teach it, just pointing them in the right direction. Oh, okay, okay, there you go. See, sorry I jumped on you, you 21-year-old Popa Adrian, who I thought was in sixth grade. Uh, let me check this shit out. Wind your rug and sh okay, PK, could you show us how you do the trick where you wind up your rug and shove it up your ass? That's a damn dog. Let me check your channel out, Andreas Kolasar. Holy shit! Let's check your channel out. See, uh, you got four subs and you don't have any content. Fuck. That's always disappointing. Um, because I always want to have somebody call, you know, call me a cunt. Say, hey, dude, you suck dick. And then I look through your channel, and then it's like, oh, male workout videos. 
or it's like I don't know you just you've um, you've liked Justin Bieber when he was like 14 like all your videos are just liked on that that'd be fucking but unfortunately I yeah I, I, it's rare that I find that sort of stuff like the other day somebody calls me a cunt I look and then guess what they're, they're subscribed to Evan Era so I see the Evan Era committee the Evan Era buffet invading uh, my pig cunts fuck that ah uh, no, I'm not. There you go. See, thank you. Hey, dude, you're a cunt. See, now you're baiting me. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna take that bait. I'm not gonna take that bait, dog. The fuck. See, right now this guy uh, Z True Style. You just called me a cunt. I know you dropped ten hot Canadian dollars on me. You know what? I'm gonna. I'm gonna look at your shit. I'm gonna look at your shit just to see if there's anything. There's a guitar. Uh, you a uh, fucking hysterical. You have a Minecraft tutorial. That is so dope. That is fucking dope. Honestly, I haven't checked how many people... Um, oh, shit, okay. Uh, I haven't checked how many people unsubbed uh, about... Uh, unsubbed with those Minecraft videos. But uh, I'm pretty sure it was quite a bit because I know they got a bunch of dislikes, which is fucking hysterical. Um, I just still found that really funny. <laughs> that people were expecting a good card trick and instead they found me uh, playing Minecraft for 20 minutes. So I need to see how many people actually, I'll tell you right now, you know, I look, I'll actually look at the analytics for that hot video and I'll tell you right now how many, how many, how many people on sub from that one from those two videos. Uh, let's see if I could find it. Uh, let me see if I could find it here. Hopefully. Uh, best. Uh, let's see. Best card trick tutorial ever. Four. That's not bad. That's not horrendous. Well, and I said I was 27. Almost 27. I didn't say I, I was at 27. I said almost 27,000. Which is funny. So, yeah, not bad. Uh, so, for a troll, I only lost two people that got generally upset. Then I'm like, no. You know what? This guy didn't do a uh, this guy didn't do a tutorial here. Let me look at the other trick and see how uh, how many I lost in that one. So total between two Minecraft videos, I lost a grand total of. Let me see. Son of a bitch. Okay, I'll tell you right now. God, if YouTube only made this easier to fucking do. I lost a grand total of, oh, not, not applicable yet. It doesn't say. So two, we'll go for two so far. That's not bad. For a troll. Uh, who do you think is better, Evan Error or Zach King? Zach King, because at least Zach King has a uh, skill in editing. You know, he's not, he's not uh, bad in terms of, uh... and even the, I mean, fuck, he did edit that one video. He did the, um... The Kayla Morelli, the, the straw through bottle shit, he did do that shit, but he fucking faked the video. I, there's no need to fake it. But even that, it shows that he has somewhat skill. Compared to Evan Era, fuck that. I would make uh, some sort of fat joke, but I don't, want, uh, I don't want this clip to be taken out of context. And then I have Evan Era find me and sit on my ass. Let me see some other shit. I would have unsubscribed too if you weren't my dad. I don't know how to I don't know how to answer that. All right, dude. You do you, dog. I would have unsubscribed daughter. Okay. All right. Uh Dude, you showed your face to the Russian genius. I did not. No, my face is a uh it's a secret. Make another channel just for Minecraft. Neil David uh maybe again i i don't want to do that uh, i probably will do that and then do what somebody suggested earlier which is to do make a channel for minecraft but uh, do card tricks on it which i think would be hysterical uh has anyone that you called out ever contacted you meat blanket uh no no i gotta say no nobody's uh ever done that surprisingly uh, I don't think Evan Arrow's even ever seen my video. That'd be fucking phenomenal if he did. <coughs> I was thinking of doing the next one on Jabrizi, but I think that that's kind of been overplayed. I was going to do it before the uh, the whole thing. 
uh, with you know him coming out with a fake video. I was gonna do it before then, and that video just added to it. Uh, but I, I just didn't uh, didn't think it'd be worth it. Any advice in a spread call? Uh, yeah, yeah, spread call is probably uh, one of my favorite moves. So the best advice that I could give you is uh, when you're doing it, call a random card. So again, you're just the you know the basics here. You're you're aligning this card. Let's say this is the card you want to call. You're aligning it with this one, right? You're pulling at the back as you're spreading the cards, right? But the best advice that I could give you is to call a random card and then use that card to help you call the other ones. Uh, you're doing the, that's the Solomon, Solomon, David Solomon slider principle uh, from, he did that, he released that in a book, Dave Solomon. Uh, fuck, he released that. I can't tell you right now off the top of my head, but that's uh, that's a principle that I think, think from my knowledge he came up with uh to easily call cards so from that it's it just becomes uh an issue of sliding the card on that card that you've already called and it becomes infinitely easier and again the grip is also kind of important because you don't want to uh get into the habit of stopping you know if you need to call this card you don't want to get into the habit of stopping and then just going hey you know th then it looks like hot shit uh not costi uh david solomon xavier because from my understanding, he has this thing called the uh, Solomon Slider Principle, right? Where he calls one card, and then it just becomes infinitely easier to call just a bunch of cards. Um, but uh, that's, I mean, that's the, the tip that I had. I have a whole video on spread call tips, so you should check, uh, check that shit out. But I just found that's the easiest way to uh, call a bunch of cards, uh, just for me. I know that other people have different grips and other ways to do it, but for me, uh, I just found that the easiest way to do it. Um, but I have an entire video on that shit, so you should check that out. Not to, uh, Kosia put that on the Roadrunner coat, and he does that and improved on it. Oh, the actual slider? Yeah, it's fucking phenomenal. It makes it so easy. Because you're not working against friction. The friction kind of just helps you out, so it's it's definitely, like, the best tip. <clears throat> I'm trying to remember where it is that I, I read it or saw it first, uh, but I remember Dave Solomon specifically being the one that taught that, and I don't remember where i saw him teach that so it's kind of driving me nuts but but that's that's a great fucking tidbit and he was around with marlo so that guy got it directly from the horse's ass i guess does that work the horses he got it directly from the horse's ass uh what is your success rate on the classic force i can't tell you that that's weird i don't think i've i've ever been a, a big fan of the classic force my favorite one is the, uh, the, the touch force, the let touch force, because uh, you still have that freedom of having a spectator touch any card, uh, but you still have that nice, uh, that nice force uh, ability, that get you let touch force. It's, it's definitely a great, um, a great one. Now, that's from Gary Let. How do you spell that? My uh, Canadian people, I'm sure I'm spelling it or I'm pronouncing it horrendously. Uh, but yeah, he's the one that came up with that force. It's a great fucking force. And again, you have that nice spread, uh, but uh, it's it's not this uh, chance. And I know people obviously that could do the classic force and bang on every time, but I just don't like taking chances. Ule, yeah, but how do you... <laughs> that's, are you writing how you pronounce it? Is he true style? Ulet, am I saying it right? Or is it Ule? <laughs> I'm sure I'm, I'm offending somebody. That's how you say it as well. Okay. All right. I'm taking your Canadian word for it. Uh, be aware of gators. Hurricane. Oh, that's fucked. Uh, let me see. Did you see Russian Genius and Jay Sangi collab? Yeah. Yeah. Great for great for them. I mean, again, I'm I'm a huge fan of Jay Sankey. Uh, obviously a fan of uh, Russian Genius. Um, so the fact them them two worked together and made a, a magical video, baby, that's always fucking phenomenal. So great for both of them. <laughs> I'm the definition of cunt. Thank you, dog. I appreciate that. Uh, and because of that, I'm going to check out your channel and see if you happen to like... Oh, okay. You do have a playlist here. Uh, Disturb Reality. Right off the bat, you got some jerk here. You got some other. Let's check what's in your other. 
Uh, you got some Pendulette. Okay, that's dope. 52 cards, all right. Chris Ramsey. Uh, you know what I don't see? I don't see Big Cake videos. I don't see Big Cake videos that you liked. Dog. Cunt. I'm going to collab with Sankey also. Hey. Yeah, that's dope. Uh, you should rub his bald head for me. Let me see. I'm, I'm still looking through your list here, uh, Faisal, and see if there's anything here uh, that I could shit on you apart from... Oh, you have beast mode. How to defend pushing you. Okay, that's funny. And laziness. Oh, this isn't that interesting. Okay, I thought it was uh, dope stuff. I will, that's fuck. <laughs> that's fucking funny. <laughs> Why are you touching my head? This guy on YouTube told me to do it. Uh, I don't know if you've seen his stuff. He's a cunt. <coughs> I don't think I, that he'll, he'll probably tell you he, he doesn't feel comfortable with you. That'll be the, the cutoff point. You're going to do it with him in person, though, uh, Xavier? Hey, that's dope. That's always fucking great, man. Shit. I'd kill Smart Tree Monkey to, uh, again, to, to be in the same room with Jay and just listen to his shit. The first trick, I, I think I mentioned that on the, on the live streams, the, the first trick I ever bought was Airtight uh, by Jay Sankey, and I was immediately fucking disappointed. <laughs> immediately disappointed. Because on, on uh, it looked amazing. It looked fucking phenomenal. He just grabs a deck, throws it in the balloon. In my stupid, young, retarded head, I was like, oh, I can just grab a balloon. And grab a deck, have somebody pick a card, and just go. And then it's in the balloon. <laughs> that obviously wasn't the case. Um, and obviously, if you know the method, uh, because I was a, uh, a weak bitch back then, I couldn't do the thing you needed to, to, to do the method. I couldn't do it. So uh, I, I got really, really upset. And I'm like, fuck this. It didn't stop me from buying uh, his other stuff, but... That was the first trick I ever bought, uh, like actually convinced my mom to buy that shit just off of the video. Fuck. I got fucked. Uh, let me see this. Dude, you'd kill a lot of uh, baby tree monkeys. Yeah, I would. I would kill a lot. Of, they, they don't deserve life. Especially if what's stopping me from doing something is killing a small tree monkey. Like if somebody were to say, hey, dude. Uh, I, I'm going to hook you up with Jay Sankey here so you could, uh, you know, meet him. But um, you're going to have to kill a small tree monkey. I'm going to be like, well, where's the, where's the tree monkey, dog? Okay, where's Jay? It, it'll be like that. Uh, that, that. That much hesitation. Uh, that much hesitation. So, yeah. I'm a bad person. Where's PETA? Where's PETA? That's, that's what I'm asking. Uh, said method with second card was in a book. What was it again? Can you link it? I need to find where it is, but uh, eh, look up this magician. Uh, and then it's called this. Uh, there you go. That's what it's called uh, for the spread call. Who asked me? Somebody asked me. Somebody asked me. Uh, Troy Smith. That's the uh, technique. Uh, now, Xavier, you said that it was in Kosi Akimlat's spread call or the, the Roadrunner call. I, don't, I never bought that, so I don't know uh, how that is. But if he does do that in that project, I buy that project, the uh, Roadrunner call. I just remember learning that years and years and years ago, and it just made calling so much fucking easier. Uh, and that's a move that is probably one of the most versatile and... I just don't see it used to its maximum potential because it's a force. It's uh, you can control cards, uh, you can displace cards. It's just fucking. I would have sex with a coal if it was a thing. Yeah, obviously it's all based on that, but I just don't know how he. Like I've never seen the Roadrunner coal. Like I've never seen. Uh, I well technically yes because I have seen that episode of Foolish, but I I just I I don't see the. Uh, I don't know what he's doing different in his version. The only thing that I can think of in my head now, just based on a name, is uh, this thing, right? 
the Roadrunner. His legs did this shit, and I imagine that's what's happening or something like that. Uh, that's the only thing that I could just think of off the top of my head because I've never seen it. Uh, basically, hey, I'm pretty smart. I'm pretty smart. Let me see some other shit. Uh, could you please show the Jay Sankey principle with a rope and key? I can't figure it out. Only with the ring in the middle. Oh, so damn. Okay. Hey. Yeah, so okay. I could kind of see that now. Uh, hold on. Let me see this. Uh, you're, uh, Manny Khan. You're talking about the... Um, the J fuck. Jesus, now you're testing me. Oh, my Jay Sankey thing. Key. I need to look this up. I know the exact trick you're talking about. Uh, J leaving home. There you go. Leaving home is um, that trick that you were talking about. And I cannot show you how it's done because that is not my trick, you cunt. That's Jay Sankey's trick. But that's another great trick. Uh, again, a little bit weird because the setup is you have this uh, weird rope with the key around it. So you got to, first of all, do the Collins key shit. Well, you already look uh, a slightly, slightly special because you got a rope around your neck with a key and then somebody inevitably goes, hey, uh, why do you have that key around your neck? And then you go, oh, because then, and then you do the move and you do the whole shit. Um, so the, the setup there is awkward, but it's still a great looking visual trick. Uh, I bet that the 11th card in your deck is the six of spades. Let's see. You cunt. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let me tell you, if it was a six of spades, were you close? No, you weren't even close, you piece of sh... You cunt. <laughs> okay, cunt. <laughs> Sorry I didn't fucking... Don't want to expose other people's shit on my channel, dog. Uh, but yeah, look it up. It's called Leaving Home by Jay Sankey. I'm sure he does it on his YouTube channel. Like, I'm sure he teaches it on his YouTube channel, but I'm not going to teach it because it's not mine to teach. Dog. Uh, let's play Fuck, Mary Kill. Jabrizi, Rick Lax, and the guy who had Disturb Reality. Shit. Um, I can't imagine being married to Rick Lax. Fuck. I can't even imagine that. Hey, yo, baby, you want some fuck? Yeah, but before that, think of a color. Red or, red or blue, you got one? Fuck, man, this game again? I'm a, I'll just jack off, I'm sorry. So I can't even imagine uh, being married to... Uh, and then being married to Jabrizi? Fuck. He'll fake it. He'll fake it, man. That would be even fucking worse. I mean, just by that, I'd probably... Ah, geez. I don't know, man. Disturb reality, he looks like a girl. So I'd probably end up marrying... Because it long term, I don't know, dude, that's a weird one. I can't even answer that without wanting to uh, murder myself. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, Rick Lax would definitely ask me some weird shit. Oh, 11th card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Nine of spades. You probably peeked at it, you probably peeked at this, and you're like, haha. Cunt. Um, so yeah, that's an awful question. I'm sorry. I can't answer that. I can't answer, uh, Jab Jabrizi. I'd probably end up, you know what? I'd probably end up, uh, uh, marrying Disturb, grudge fucking Rick Lax, and killing Jabrizi. That's, that's how I'll probably do it. Uh... I'm gonna look through these other stuff. I'm glad I got about a thousand comments saying 11, you fucking dumb cunt. What, do you not know numbers? I'm sorry. I fucked. Let's see this shit. So, um. After her. Riveting, riveting uh, action happening right now, but hold up. Man, fucking autocorrect. Uh, okay. Uh, when is the new Minecraft video coming out? Uh, what card trick do you hate the most? I wow, that's an actual good question. 
Hey, that's an actual really good question. What car trick do you hate the most? Ah, uh, I guess things that don't make sense, uh, tricks that don't make sense. Uh, and I know that there's a couple of schools of thought when it comes to the idea of being as logical as possible when it comes to car tricks. And then there's the opposite school that's like, dude, people don't fucking give a shit. You could literally, hey, uh, is this your card? Okay, perfect. You know, there's there's two schools of thought where people don't, um, you know, where people either are too relaxed and could get away with a lot of stuff because of the relaxed attitude, or people that are want to be as logical as possible. I can't. I find myself in the middle, uh, but I just hate tricks that don't have any logical sense. Uh, so there's a video that I did that's called "Every Magic Demo of All Time." Again, not to show my own shit, uh, but there's a video. Uh, that video is pretty much what I hate the most in terms of card magic. So you look at the demo video and then it's like lots of cutaways. And then uh, one of the cutaways is like the person doing this thing. And you're like, what the fuck just happened, dude? <laughs> I have no idea, no idea what just happened. So I guess illogical tricks are the ones that I, I dislike the most. I can't think of any right off the top of my head uh, as far as like card tricks and, sh and stuff. But I, illogical, really illogical tricks are ones that I, I dislike. No, I love those. Tricks of long stories. I, I love those, but it depends on the magician. So Rene Levand, I, I'll watch four hours of him in a row just doing some crazy fucking, you know, stories on like the moon and the sun and how to sing a poem. I watch fucking hours of that. Uh, Juan Tamaris, I watch, you know, even more uh, uh, long of him. Uh, but again, it really depends on the performer because they could get away with that. Uh, but when somebody does a, a like, I've seen a, I've seen people do a um, do the what do you call this shit? The Sam the bellhop, and they don't have the same personality as Bill Malone, and it's like, dude, stop, <laughs> stop it! What are you doing? <laughs> I don't know what you think you're doing, but it's not what you think you're doing. Uh, so I guess that, but. I really love those sort of tricks, but again, it, it depends uh, entirely on um, on the the performer. Let me see. I did like your video. Check my liked playlist. Okay, I believe you, dog. I believe you. I'm not gonna go through the work of that. Uh, yes, work for great magician, not just for any kind. Yeah, and it's. Uh, I mean, and this guy had a great documentary. If you if you want to look it up. Uh, if you want to definitely look that shit up, uh, on Rene Levant, fuck man, that guy had a hard time, uh, cause he had a, a, a car accident when he was young and then he had to kind of develop all these techniques and shit. And then he does one handed, uh, he does like one handed false cuts, one handed double lifts, one handed like passes and shit. The guy's fucking crazy. He had a, a great documentary that came out, uh, a little bit before he died. And it's, it's just sad knowing that he died and watching that, but, um, you know, he was performing magic pretty much all of his life, so it's great. Uh, but I'd definitely look that up on YouTube if I get the chance. How hard was it for you to get the first 100 subs? Uh, yeah, that I think was uh, was hard. That was pretty hard, I would say, the first 100 subs. Uh, I actually didn't put the sub count on... Um, I didn't put it uh, open. Like, I didn't put it available for people to see how many subs I had for the, uh, for a long time. Cause I kind of felt subconscious until I got like a thousand subs. Uh, then I realized it doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Like it actually doesn't. Um, somebody said about the illusionist. <laughs> Are you applying for the illusionist spot? I'm not. No, no reason for me to do that whatsoever. I find it funny though that they're, they're, you know, they make a video saying, hey guys, we're looking for someone. It's like, you're not going to get the best people that way, dog. Uh, something on, uh, how many subs did you get when you did the collab with Russian Genius? Because that's when I subbed. Uh, I got quite a bit. I didn't get a lot, a lot. Um, maybe less than a thousand for that. You know, people just, uh, just I mean, watched my videos and they're like, oh, okay. But I mean, it helped out tremendously because I was early on, um, you know, really, really early on. So every, you know, everything kind of, it, obviously every sub still has uh, a weight now, but you know, that's when it, it seemed to be a bigger deal for me. So 
Uh, so I fucking appreciated the shit out of that. How's your journey to being a social media entrepreneur going? Fuck, man. You know, it's, it's, it kind of is stagnant now. Uh, it's stagnant because, again, for me to become a social media entrepreneur, that means that I need to have more Twitter followers than Jabrizi. Uh, Jabrizi has 1,500. I have right now on Twitter, uh, I have, I think, 1,020 last time I checked. 1,020, yeah. So there's no way I'm going to be anywhere near being a social media entrepreneur um, if I'm like, if I'm not at his level, dog. What the fuck, man? That shit sucks. So, you know, my journey still continues until one day I can hopefully uh, charge $200 an hour so people could, um, uh, so people could ask me how I uh, bullshitted Twitter followers. So fuck. <laughs> so stupid. I'm a social media entrepreneur. <laughs> it's funny. Anybody could be a social media entrepreneur. That's the weirdest job title I've ever heard in my entire life. <laughs> this guy charged 200 fucking dollars. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? You could get hand jobs for less than that. Get the fuck out of here. They charge you $200 an hour for fucking... <laughs> So somebody could listen to you go, listen, you need to uh, make sure that your brand is consistent among all platforms. So your brand is consistent among YouTube, uh, Twitter, Instagram. Make sure that you have a very consistent um, you know, schedule when it comes to uploading. And make sure that you also uh, are very clear when it comes to your intentions. With $200 for that shit. Get the fuck out of here, dude. You got a hand job for under 60 bucks. And let me tell you, you probably get more out of that shit. You'd get some crabs, probably, but you'd get some more shit, dog. Uh, Xavier, are you networking? What's going on? <laughs> yeah, are you not? I also consulted for David Blaine, Chris Angel, and others. Let me see. Look at my channel. Oh, because somebody asked you, uh, what do you perform? Okay. That's funny. <laughs> I'm like, God damn, man. <laughs> Wait, you consulted for uh, Chris? I don't know that. That must have been fun as fuck, dog. And by fun, I mean counting his abs. Be like one ab, two ab, three ab, four ab, five ab, six ab, seven ab. So you have respect from the magic community. He doesn't. So fuck the entrepreneur. Yeah, but uh, dude, I want to be a social media entrepreneur, man. Dog, come on. That's what it is. That's what it's about. Being a a, a fucking <laughs> calling myself a social media entrepreneur, which I think he took off from all his shit, by the way. I think he took off all of his shit, which I find really, really funny. Uh, when is the next paid trick coming? I loved persistence of memory. I'm glad you enjoyed it, man. Fuck. That was, that's one of my favorite things. Uh, just as far as a combination of ideas, probably this month. Um, I don't want to do one every month or I might, it really depends, but I, I, I like the website. I like the way things are, um, laid out on that website. So, uh, I probably am going to do something for this month. Uh, so yeah, there you go. I mean, obviously I like, you know, I'm not going to hype it up like this one <laughs> with like four weird, uh, fucking, uh, videos of rain and shit, but, um, I definitely want to do that, but I'm glad you enjoyed persons of memory. Uh, I got some reviews on that and everyone seems to be very positive about that. And everyone seems to be positive about the any card, any number. Uh, which makes me fucking happy because it lets me know that, you know, that sort of shit is, it, you know, quality stuff, good stuff. And I'm glad you enjoyed it. I didn't think people would be that happy with the method of any card and any number. But, you know, it's been pretty much very positive in terms of the positive in terms of the feedback that I've gotten from people on it. Um, so there you go. I'm really, I'm really glad people are enjoying that. I love the... Persistence of memory video, that shite was good. Buy it, peeps. Thank you, meat blanket. That meat blanket. Fucking. <laughs> I love saying that. Uh, would you bang Harry Lorraine or Paul Harris both in their prime? I think Harry Lorraine was kind of attractive when he was younger. I think. I might be wrong. Uh, I know that Paul Harris would probably end up trying to 
fuck you based on uh, his uh, pattern, his old videos. I, I don't know. He just felt very, very, uh, very pushy. Let me see Harry Lorraine when he was younger and see if he was a, uh, if he was hot. Eh, I I probably end up uh, Jerry Andrews. That guy was a looker when he was younger, so I'd probably go for for Jerry Andrews. Uh, but you know what, Paul Harris. My answer would be Paul Harris. I'd I'd hit it, I'd hit it, and then quit it. Uh, Pig Cake, do you remember the guy who donated like two hundred bucks in the last live stream? <laughs> Nobody donated two hundred bucks in the last live stream, dog. It was like forty bucks, I think. My cards are getting cold. Hey. Hey. Up the ladder. I hope the aces are still on top and they're not. Fuck me. Uh, but yeah, but um, nobody donated 200 bucks. They donated 40 bucks. But yeah, but okay, again, fuck yeah. That shit's like 40 bucks were not enough. Dog, I mean, I'm not saying, I'm not fucking like, yo, 40 bucks is not a lot of money. 40 bucks is a fucking, dog, that's a hand job. That's uh, 4, 8, 12, 16. That is a fifth, not a fifth. It is a fifth, almost. My math is gonna be awful, but I'm saying if you paid uh, $160 more, that's a Jabrizi hour. Yeah, one fifth of Jabrizi shit. There you go, that's exactly the math I was trying to do. That is, uh, that's a lot of money, dude. You learn, um, you learn a lot about uh, social media and how to be a, a, I don't know, blacker, fuck. Shit. Uh, what book, gimmick, or DVD improved the most your magic? Uh, expert card technique, for sure. And uh, I think I mentioned this in another one. When I was younger, I didn't really understand the book. I just looked at the pictures. I was a dumb cunt. I was like, how do you do this? Uh, this move looks like shit. But then uh, I got older, obviously. I started reading the books. I started um, actually trying to go through the book and looking uh, you know, between the lines and stuff at expert card technique. And the stuff in there is phenomenal. Especially the tricks. Uh, there's a trick there where you have a card on the table, spectator names any card, and then obviously, you know, sometimes you could turn a card over and it's their card, uh, but most of the time you do a little bit something and ultimately you could turn that card over and it's the spectator's card that they named. Uh, you know, that sort of good shit is in that book and I think it's very under, I guess, appreciated. Um, but, but that book for sure is uh, the book that improves, I guess, the magic the most. Uh, do you have an effect like a fool pen and teller? Uh, no, because I haven't checked out. Uh, I haven't gone to a magic store in a while. So, I mean, <laughs> I think the idea behind that show was uh, at least based on my nerd fandom of Penn and Teller is that Teller supposedly can get fooled and that uh, Penn very, uh, saw that it was very seldom that a trick would fool Teller. So I, they made that into a whole show. But again, uh, it, I don't think it would be that hard to fool him, man. I really don't. Uh, you're just doing standard bait tactics that could fool magicians, you know, putting your pinky in certain places, uh, holding a deck in a certain way. Uh, just doing certain things like that, you could fool them because, you know, they're magicians. They're looking for ma magician sort of actions. Uh, now, what has surprised me on that show are people that fooled them and it's like, what? <laughs> how, do you, how did that fool them? Uh, you know, the, some of the some of the people that are kind of blown. I know that they have to be doing a favor for some of the people. They have to be doing a favor uh, for some for some of those people. But it's just weird uh, looking at them uh, and what fools them and who fools them. Uh, and I know a couple of people were saying like, oh, you know, it's kind of crazy that these magicians brought out these products and they didn't, you know, it fooled them. I don't think they're going to have the time to look through all the shit. I don't think they're going to have the time to buy DVDs and, you know, look through the shit, you know. Uh, but... It's just weird. I actually haven't seen the Jabrizi fooling them. I don't know what he did uh, to fool them because I haven't seen that video. But I just don't think it's that hard to fool them. If you, of course, put your mind to it. Uh, the cookie guy, yeah, that was fucking nuts. To be honest, though, first time I did watch that video with the cookie, uh, I didn't necessarily catch him do it. I don't think he... I, I, I didn't catch the guy put the cookie in his mouth. Then the second time, I'm like, what the fuck? He just put it in his goddamn mouth. Exposed. Exposure. But he just put the cookie in his mouth, and then that's it. That shit blew my fucking mind. What I thought he was going to do when I was watching the video was I thought he was going to eat the cookie, 
and then uh, actually without any cover spit the cookie back out. But then I didn't think that he was going to just be so brazen as to fucking put the cookie in his goddamn mouth and do it. But um, that's, I mean, that's still kind of nuts. It's a, it's an interesting show though. I, I mean, I'll still watch it from time to time, but um, it's just a little bit weird sometimes. Uh, the people that fool them and get away with stuff. Uh, and I don't think you can lie on the show. I don't think you can lie on the show because you have to kind of show the trick to a producer before and tell them how it's done, uh, and then then you go on uh, to show them. From my understanding, again, that's my limited understanding, but I don't think you can lie to them. The one that was nuts was Gertner. Fucking Paul Gertner is a beast. Fuck that guy. He's a fucking beast. I thought, because uh, when I saw him, I didn't know if he was going to do the steel cups for a second. I thought he was going to do those. Uh... But I'm like, that's not going to fool them. Then he did um, Unshuffled with that twist. I'm like, fuck. This guy wrecked my ass. Let me see. Uh, Madison, he did the bottom deal routine, right? He did like a, a cop and bottom deal sort of deal with that. Or like blindfolded from my memory. I don't know if that's right, Kendrick. What, uh, it, it, I, I don't, I think I saw it years ago, but I don't remember, uh, yes, it is. Yeah, that, that was weird. Um, I mean, I can't say much on that, but he was blindfolded. I, I know that the cop was, you, you could see him do the cop on camera. Uh, the bottom deal was well done, but I, you could still kind of, you know, peek it, uh, on camera, which is kind of weird. Uh, that he he would go with something like that, but I mean he's fucking phenomenal that shit. So, uh, at least he appears that way on camera. But that was interesting. That was really interesting. The Brushwood one, fuck. I loved watching Brian Brushwood on that fucking show, uh, cause he that fucking routine was so well like crafted. That shit wrecked my ass, cause it makes so much fucking sense. Uh, obviously the guy eats. The dollar, right? And then um, he has to do the psychic, you know, the whole psychic um, surgery shit to get the dollar from the stomach. That was so perfect. And of course, the fact is that he, it's so ballsy too. The method that he used is so fucking ballsy. Uh, but it, it worked. And I think it would work uh, regularly. I think that he even does that as part of his uh, stage show, Brian Brushwood. Um, but that, it, fucking, such a good, such an old principle. That's phenomenal. Uh, and the fact that he does it on stage, it, that was fucking good. And I'm glad they caught him on it, uh, too, at the end, which is really funny. And they, they caught him on it. They're like, would that work if I read it? Would it work if he read it? Would it work if, you know, <laughs> he fucking wrecked that. That shit really killed me. See anything else here? Shinlim used a duplicate. Uh, I mean, fuck. Yeah, the surgery wasn't a trick. Obviously, it was a dollar transporting. But uh, I think his issue, too, is that um, he burnt the dollar straight up. He, it's the too perfect uh, idea that he got the dollar. And from my memory, he held the dollar with tongs, right? And then he lit the dollar on fire and then just dropped the dollar in the bowl. Uh, you know, the too perfect theory, for those of you guys that don't know that, is that if something looks too perfect, usually it's the first the first answer is the actual answer so in that case if he burns a dollar right so he holds the dollar in the tongs he burns the dollar he puts the dollar in the bowl you see the dollar burning and then later on he finds another dollar there's no way it's the same dollar there i mean that's logic there's no way it's the same dollar so the next answer is oh there are two dollars and i mean there you go but um just the way he you know made it seem like it's the same dollar i really li liked uh, the ballsy way of doing that but I think if he would have put it in an envelope, if he would have made it a little bit more shady, uh, then he probably would have gotten away with it. Maybe, maybe. But it, I still think uh, Brusher was one of my favorite ones. I like the balloon guy a lot. Uh, the balloon guy did a really, really good one. Um, and then I forgot which other one I saw recently that wrecked my butt. Uh, uh, Turner, Richard Turner. Even though I don't know how Richard Turner fooled. That's another one that's kind of weird. You know, I, I'd like to see Michael Omar on it. I'd like to see what Michael Omar would do on that show.
Uh, opinions on Jared 120. Uh, Jared, the alleged subway molester of children. Because I think he's awful. Jared's a piece of shit. And he's an awful subway. I know, I know he meant shit. Fucking get the... Roll with it. Fuck. I don't, I don't really have an opinion on Jared. Uh, I, you know, I don't have a big opinion on him. A Mars laugh will fool them, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he would have a very awkward... Uh, he'd probably do a, a story about superheroes while he's doing a fucking trick. And Batman put his way in the middle. And then Batman made his way to the top. You know, he'd probably do some weird fucking cheesy comic book story. Uh, Mike Omar. He's another one that's great. Uh, I mentioned this on the last live stream. Uh, David Letterman had a uh, magic week a couple years ago where he had magicians. Um, he had magicians go on and, uh, you know, do a week every day that they would be a guest. And then Michael Marr was the only one that seemed like a guest. And I think he spoke about that. He had an inter interview about that. And he spoke about how he didn't want to seem like just a magician, like a jester just performing for him. Uh, so he actually, you know, laid back in the seat. He did a trick that he could uh, not necessarily have to be hunched over because it was a very good uh, read. Uh, actually, let me see if I could find the interview because it's a fucking amazing interview. Amar, uh, real magic. Yeah, there you go. He did it for, I think, Real Magic. Um, this thing right here. I'm going to link it. Hey, that uh, he fucking killed it. That's a great interview. He talks, it kind of it shows you a lot about magic on TV and shit and what's really going on uh, in the back, you know, and what's really going on behind the scenes. That's really interesting to see. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty much, and then I, I also mentioned last week that they, they, uh, not John Kerry, what's his name? John Carney went up and he did a cups and balls and they fucking, they got the camera right there where he did the last load in the, uh, the cups and balls. And there's no way they didn't do that shit on purpose. There is no fucking way they didn't like put that camera angle on purpose to fuck him up. So I just find that really funny. Same thing with America's Got Talent. Same thing with, uh, I, I mean, Foolish, I really haven't seen it that much. But America's Got Talent, for sure they fuck with people uh, for the camera angles and shit. Mm. Uh, Chris Angel versus David Blaine. David Blaine, for sure. Big, uh, Bigger fan of David Blaine. I just think that he's, uh, he just seems to me like a more well-rounded magician. That's just, again, appearance based on my cunt, my cuntness. I could be completely wrong uh, behind the scenes. But just the way he presents himself, I, I prefer David Blaine a lot more than uh, Chris Angel. Sub pig bitch. <laughs> uh, I think I've mentioned it. My favorite deck is, uh, ah, fuck, and I hate to admit it, but I like, I, Bicycle is one of my favorite decks. Uh, anything that's minimal, I've mentioned before. So the Madison Rounders, you know, I'll drop that. Um... Those are, the black ones are really, really good. Uh, just because they have that minimal thing. I like that sort of shit. So I, I that would be somewhat of my favorite deck. Uh, is that arm from Evan Era's body? No, that arm's from a dumpster, dog. That arm is from a dumpster. And trying to find decks in a dumpster. You should check that video out. Uh, you must love the Nox. I, you know what? When I was at a magic store, I actually tried them out. Uh, I did not like the way they felt. I love the way they looked. I did not like the way they felt, uh, the Nox. So um, I would like a deck like that, just literally white border, color. But uh, it's, it just, they didn't, they didn't seem to uh, feel that good to me. You have an error coin that turns into a key. Yeah, that, that was one of my favorite videos. <laughs> Showing the coin to key, dude. You could see the coin through the fucking keyhole. I don't, I don't know why he he fucking thought he could get away with that on video, but he's like, hey, here's a key, and then he has like a nickel or whatever, and then he fucking puts the the nickel in his hand, and then when he opens it, you could see the fucking coin through the hole of the key. God, who's gonna do that? If somebody does that in public. So if, I mean, on Instagram, somebody needs to do that in public and show me like a reaction video of somebody actually doing that shit in public. 
Fucking, that would be so dope. Hey, here's a coin. All right, now it's a key. If somebody, there, somebody's going to go, I could see the coin. I could see the coin, dude. I don't know what you're trying to do, but I could see the, co the coin's right there. It's right there. That'd be great. Link it up. If you guys, if one of you guys performs that trick, uh, the coin to key, how Evan Error does it in public, and film it and get the reaction. Uh, I don't know what I do. I, I probably, I'll give you a A can for free. I'll give you any card, any number for free. But um, I definitely want to see that that shit sounds like a fun reaction video. <sighs> so stupid. Uh, are you still planning on making your own playing cards? Yeah, eventually. Down the line. Uh, again, I've mentioned that I don't want to, because obviously the way that I would go around doing that is with uh, something like Kickstarter or something like that. So I would want to get everything down pat before I decide to fuck around with that. So, yeah, but eventually down the line. Let me see if I could go back here, see if there's any hot. Uh, do you like the butterfly deck? I've never seen it. Uh, the new knocks from USPC are going to be a lot better. I imagine. Uh, I imagine if they're fucking uh, from United States playing card company. That shit's dope. Well, who made them before? Who made the knocks before? I don't know who made those before, but uh, they, I mean, yeah, they just didn't feel good at all. The, uh, there's another one, the, um, the fucking, not the Mad Max, the uh, Mad Men deck. That shit was good as shit. Those are pretty dope. Uh, Expert Playing Card Company. Yeah, I could see why uh, if a company like that would have made them. Show you a trick. What trick? What trick? What trick? Let me see if there's anything here that I've written down. That I could show you. Let me look through here. See if there's any hotness. Uh, pig alerts. Snapshot vision test. A uh, triumph variation. Four card location. Self-working, convincing control, easy triumph. That's a good one. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, easy triumphs. This is just something that I, I thought of just a while ago. I'm sure I'm not obviously the first person to think of this. But uh, as simple of a triumph you could be. I taught this on Patreon. But I taught this on Patreon. Um, and pretty much it's just as simple of a triumph that you could get. You, somebody picks a card, right? You, you show the card, you take it, and you say, you know, I'm gonna put, how hard do you think it would be uh, for me to find your card right now? It would be hard, right? Because, of course, your fucking cards face up. Uh, but I'll tell you what, we'll make it harder for me. I'm going to mix the cards face up and face down. Of course, you guys see what I did there. I'm going to mix the cards face up and face down, and now make it infinitely harder to find your cards. So now, see, look, we have cards face up, we have cards face down, we have cards going every single which way. But guess what? See, look, I'll make it easier for me to find... Booyah. Shit. Uh, yeah, I taught that on Patreon. It's just the easiest fucking triumph you could think of. Uh, you take a card, right? You put it back face up. You ask them how easy would it be for them to, for you to find a card. Obviously, it's going to be fucking easy as shit because it's face up. Uh, so you square this up and you get a break below it. So you square it up and you get a break below it. Now all you got to do is the Tenkai Reversal. So you do the ten card reversal and say, you know what? I'll make it harder for me. I'll mix the cards face up and face down. And now you have, obviously, face up, going into face up. Mix this shit up. Do whatever bit you want to do here. Do whatever bit here to show the cards face up, face down. Eventually cut the cards and say, oh, right here, boom. And there you go, cards face up. So literally, you're just doing a ten card reversal. Uh, you're putting the card face up in the deck which is kind of a weird thing. I, I've, I've seen something like that, I think, by Aldo Colombini. He does it with a sandwich. Uh, so he gets the uh, jacks and puts a card between it and then does a little thing. Um, but it is kind of just the easiest fucking triumph you could do. You're literally just taking the card face up, putting it in the middle, and doing a uh, Tenkai reversal. So, I mean, that, that's kind of the easiest thing I could possibly think of. So that's, that's just a quick trick for y'all cunts. Hey. Uh, do your double back routine. Uh, do you mean from the actual trick? From the actual videos? Eddie P. 
The easiest triumph is the one with the Charlier shuffle inverted, you fucking dumbass. Thank you, Doc. I appreciate that. Uh, your commentary, you cunt. Uh, yeah, that is an easy way to do it, but I just like this way because it's just literally the Tenkai reversal and that's it. And you're done. You're in there and you're out. You got that bitch pregnant and then you get the fuck out. Uh, do the aces trick an expert at the card table. Which trick are you talking about? The, um, wait, the fucking, uh, dog, are you talking about the birds of a feather trick? Oh, Vernon's aces. Okay. No, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not gonna do that. Don't want to fuck it up and be like, oh shit, this guy sucks. Uh... Let me see. I want to see David Copperfield can make the Statue of Liberty get a boner. Uh, that's uh, that's that's weird. Let's see this. That's a little weird, Doc. But you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll give it to you. Um, if he could do that, I'll definitely be interested in uh, watching. I would watch that special hard as fuck. Let's see. Porco Dio from Italy. Nice. Got some fucking Italian motherfuckers watching this shit. See, show your double lift. Like a fancy double lift? Like a one of these uh, buck twin bullshit double lifts? One of these fucking... Right there? Is this the double lift you're talking about? <laughs> Just one of these fucking weird... I remember this one. I remember di diving board double. That's a throwback. That's a fucking throwback. I can't even do it anymore. Yeah, I can't even do it. That shit's retarded. Uh, but what double lift? Just a regular one? I mean, because the regular one that I do is just obviously you get a break. Uh, I like getting a break from a dribble. So you just hold back two cards over here as you put this back. Uh, and then when you do the regular double lift, you get an Altman trap. That's, that's a fancy way uh, of saying you put your fucking thumb fat there so that when you press up, it transfers it over. Again, that's not how big you want the break, but... But that way, you don't have to do any sort of weird action. It's just there in the back, and you do this uh, Altman trap. Uh, that makes your double lift infinitely easier. That's a hot tip. Um, definitely one of my favorite moves. Uh, the Altman trap is the oldest shit ever. No, that's your mom, dog. Your mom's the oldest shit ever. But yeah, but I, I mean, that's, that's a good one. Uh, I like this double where you, you slide the card. Down the length, I like that double. Um, I mean, they get fancy, man. They get fucking oddly fancy. But, uh, yeah, they get... You just want to turn the two cards over, make it seem like you're turning one card over, and that's it. That's it, dog. That's all you're doing. You're not doing this whole fucking... Cobra cut double lift. And, like, th there's no fucking need for that. Uh, Cedric, uh, you're welcome. You're welcome. You said thanks. Uh, but yeah, I mean, just whatever it looks like, you're turning one card over, and that's it. You're good to go. Not None of this, um, none of this uh, fancy, flippy bullshit. Uh, Herman Pass opinion. Uh, I mean, I don't like it. I like the other pass. I like the nice classic pass. Uh, Herman Pass, obviously, you need some sort of cover. Uh, Steve Drawn, I think, has one of the best covers for it, the Midnight Shift. Uh, then obviously there's the classic turnover pass from expert card technique, but, uh, I, I just think you need a good cover for it. Uh, it needs a, a good cover. If you're going to do it, you need to, uh, you know, either turn the deck over or maybe do some action with the deck that covers it up. Uh, but I remember reading it and not knowing a cover for it and just doing it. And I'm like, Oh, okay. This looks like hot shit. Um, but as long as you have a nice cover for it, let me see. Somebody said, uh, Burglus Effect. Cedric, do you know what the Burglus Effect is? That's weird. Uh, and then you said Bruce Servan. Uh, I've actually not seen a lot of his stuff. I've only seen a couple, a little bit of his stuff years and years ago. Um, I just remember him being the weird guy that wore like the, uh, an ascot or the, what's the fucking shit you wear around your neck? I remember seeing that. I'm like, that's weird. Uh, but I, I really haven't seen uh, a lot of stuff by Bruce Servan. Uh, 
Oh, that's funny. Okay, for a second. David Beckham has the greatest pass. That's fucking funny. Uh, yeah, but I don't know why somebody's asking the burglars effect. I, I don't think burglars could do the burglars effect. <laughs> I mean, burglars obviously can do it, but uh, it, it's a situational thing, man. It's not a, uh, you know, it's not just a, a trick that you could do. Again, hey, man, if only there was a magician that sold a version of any card or any number where the spectator ends up holding the deck and dealing the card to the thought of card and the thought of number and they find their card. Oh, shit. Maybe there is. Maybe there is. What? Huh? What's that website? Pickcake.me? Why would he put that? Oh, because I'm, I'm being a shill. I'm being a shell. Uh, Burgless actually did. He, he has a DVD called The Burgless Effects. Uh, actually, no, he has a. Uh, there's a book that was written by Britland, from my understanding. Britland, I think. David Britland wrote a book on David Burgless, who. He talked about the uh, Burgess effects. He talked about different uh, effects. Was it Kaufman or, or. Let me see. Britland. I know Britland came out. Uh, Britland Burgless. Uh, okay, Britland came out with the magic, uh, mind and magic of David Burgless. Uh, and Kaufman, you're right, Richard Kaufman came out with the, uh, the version of uh, the Burgless effects. You are 100% right. But the original one, uh, 140, that's, that's actually pretty cheap for that shit. Uh, his, uh, from my memory, Burgless' work in a thinker card is so fucking good. So fucking good. Just having somebody just spreading the deck, you know, doing, he has a weird spread. He has like this weird, weird, um, unconventional way to do a spread, uh, but it's fucking dope. But Britlin, uh, the Britlin book, uh, I saw it, you fuck, I forgot when I saw it, but, uh, the Burgess effect, uh, I think that book might disappoint people that are like, oh, there's a perfect method there. There isn't a, per you know, there's, you're not going to find a perfect method and the perfect method is coincidence. That's pretty much it. You're, you're trying to work coincidence in your favor. Um, but, uh, I do have an any card, any number that I sell on pigcake.me. That's a fucking phenomenal version of doing a trick. It's hot. Support your local magicians. I'm a shell. I'll suck your dick. Uh, Ice Cold Aiken, I think it's alright, but I mean, I think it's, um, obviously, obviously, they got permission from, uh, wow, did I forget his name? What's fucking, what's, um, fuck, the guy's name, the, guy, the one that made the Aiken where you turn over the, the deck. No, man, it's not Mitchell, fuck. Ah, it's going to drive me crazy. It's going to fucking drive me crazy. Barry Richardson. There you go. Fuck. I can't believe I forgot his name. Uh, it's, I mean, it's Barry Richardson's method, dog. <laughs> it's his fucking method. I'm sure they got permission to teach it, but they're really not adding much to the original method. Like, not really much at all to the original method. Um, but, you know, to each their own, dog. To each their own. But I think that's the perfect trick to kind of, uh, is the perfect example of why people need to read old books and why people need to see, uh, really study the old, like, you know, the classics and magic, like the Barry Richardson stuff, the books of wonder, um, you know, Marlowe's books, people need to study those because anybody could just come up with a version of a trick and then, Oh, do you like ice cold? They can by Mitchell. And then now suddenly this trick, this kid is credited with doing this fucking trick. When it's Barry fucking Richardson that came out with that goddamn method. So it's like, you know, people need to understand, you know, who are kind of the original originators of these moves before they give credit to people like, what's this kid's name? <laughs> Fuck. Uh, Mitchell Kettlewell, like, come on, man. Come on. But it's, it's pretty much the Barry Richardson trick. But in my version, it's a borrowed shovel deck. But I think the, the Barry Richardson is the best method to do it. Uh, he does have the, the best method to do it because his method is, uh, you know, anytime, anywhere, uh, shuffle deck. He has like a bunch of methods too. But um, again, I don't want to say it, but he, he has a classic, you know, turnover method with a deck. Uh, and I think that's kind of the best way to go about it. Even that goes way before him, obviously. I mean, I'm sure he was around for the fucking Stone Age 
when somebody decides to, you know, secretly turn over the deck. Um, but, you know, that method, at least, uh, first time I saw it. Original originators. Yeah. Social media entrepreneur vocabulary. That's fucking funny. That's funny. <laughs> That's fucking great. Uh, but yeah, he has like a thousand different versions of doing that. Uh, let me see. Somebody said... Yeah, that's funny. When you don't know who to credit, just say Marlo. That's that's a secret to crediting people. Fuck, I don't know who came up with this. Uh, Ed Marlo came up with this movie in 1987 in uh, the island of Peru. Peru's not an island. But that's that's the way to cheat your crediting. And that's a hot tip to uh, up-and-coming magic YouTubers. Fuck. <laughs> uh, let me see the shit. I mean, it is kind of nuts the amount of shit that Marlo did come up with, uh, which is why, um, you know, it, it isn't that far of a stretch that when you think of a move by fucking anybody, like a card move, it's safe to say that's probably Marlo. Safe to say. Uh, Marlo Vernon that came up with uh, that sort of shit, so. Uh, I combine three of your taught tricks into a single routine. Just combining them. Make it new enough to call it yours. Hmm. Uh, that's a stretch. That's weird. Uh, I mean, I'm with the firm belief that nothing is original. Nothing's original. Not even credit to me because I can't say that I've ever come up with a truly original trick. I don't think I've ever come up with anything that's 100% original. Um, you know, pretty much most of the stuff that I've thought of are just variations and different ways of doing tricks that suit me and like suit my needs and suit what I want to look for in a trick. So, you know, even then it's not necessarily even mine, you know, you're just combining ideas that were in my head that were in, you know, from fucking Marlo or Animan or anybody. So, you know, it's not necessarily uh, that, but yeah, I mean, I don't think that changing stuff up, I wouldn't call any of the, I wouldn't call the tricks that I put up on the channel mine. I wouldn't call them mine. I, I always try, I try to like strive the point that we're standing on the shoulders of giants and that it's somebody else who, you know, came up with that before us. So that's kind of the, the precedent that I want to set, um, which is why, you know, I hope that if people are coming up with videos on YouTube, especially when it comes to magic, I hope that people could um, copy that idea, you know, copy the, the, the fact that, Crediting. Make crediting fucking a thing. Jeez. I just don't think that there's there's really any... There, pretty much everything that's been fucking invented has already been invented. There's very uh, It's very hard to come up with a uh, truly original plot, which is very fucking crazy to me. Uh, thoughts on Trump. That's funny. Fastest way to get fucking shat on <laughs> in, a, in a magic conversation. What about Mark Calabrese? What about uh, Mark Calabrese? I don't know what the... He just mentioned Mark Calabrese. <laughs> That's fucking weird. Uh, let me see this. Scotch and soda. That's actually one of the... I remember buying that in middle school and freaking people out. That shit was fucking weird. I didn't think it would, because you you get the coin, right? And then you go, look, I'm going to get the coin and put it underneath and over and underneath and over. And then now it's a quarter. That shit was nuts. Red mango. I don't know what the fuck red mango is. Let me see red mango. You said Mark Calabrese made that? Let me see. Red mango. Uh, Red Mango is the open prediction of three freely chosen cards. The deck is shuffled into oblivion. No stacks here. You place down a prediction. Uh, what's what's the point of this trick? What about this trick? I don't know. <laughs> I've never seen this. So I don't know what you want me to say about it.
It looks like semen dripped over there. That's weird, dog. Uh, somebody said thoughts on Paul Daniels. Fuck. So another one. Another one that sucks that he's uh, fucking gone. Because, you know, he had a... He was very... He was kind of... Um, I don't what's not I'm I'm thinking strict but um what's the word uh serious he was very like serious magic guy uh at least when it came to his thoughts on magic he wasn't serious on um he wasn't serious when it came to the way he performed he was a fucking clown but you know his thoughts on magic were just phenomenal so unfortunately uh yeah a girl could get pregnant with precum uh Steve Bernal <laughs> Riveting, riveting. Um, so if you're banking on uh, not getting a girl pregnant with precom, uh, you better, you better be uh, getting that Plan B dog. The precom shift, that's <laughs> fucked. So at, let me look through this. See if there's anything, any hotness. Wow, that's fucking awful. Okay. Uh, for books, do you find it beneficial to read cover to cover or just open up and start at random? I think uh, both you first cover to cover, right? You read it as the person wrote it. And then you, uh, you then, you know, pick and choose different things that you might have. Uh, like if I'm reading a book, for example, uh, I've read Expert Cartoon front to back. You know, I could fucking probably, I probably have that book memorized by this point. But uh, when it comes to reading it now i'll just open to a random page and see whatever's on there you know look at the card section look at the uh, look at the other section so i'll just do it that way now uh but of course i you know read the book cover to cover now man i love it when gmail's not working uh let me see if there's any more here before i get the fuck out uh, why magicians want to get the credit for a trick? In a move, I get it, but if a card trick has a classic, you take, sir, it's over. That question doesn't make sense, though. <laughs> Let me just say that question doesn't make sense. Uh, the problem with these YouTubers who don't fucking credit is that none of them fucking read. Well, I think my thing with crediting is that it shows an appreciation and a love for magic and for the art of magic. Uh, if you don't credit, then that means that I think that you just kind of see the tricks as a way to get clicks and a, and a trick to get uh, views and shit, which is kind of shitty. Um, so I, I just think that it just comes from a lack of appreciation for magic. And crediting kind of shows that you do have an appreciation for magic enough to know, uh, you know, the actual history, the, the craft, the people that came up with that stuff. So if you don't fucking, you know... Again, I, I try to credit as often as I possibly can when it comes to tricks that I put out. I try every single fucking time that I can. I'll miss stuff, that's for sure. I'm not fucking perfect. But at the same time, you know, I at least kind of want to show that there is more to magic than just the fucking videos that you see on YouTube. You know, there's this whole fucking... It's just an iceberg and then in the bottom you have this fucking massive rock that people don't seem to really you know, appreciate or look at or even care to look. Like, you know, somebody coming up, they see that method, the ice cold A can, and they're like, oh yeah, that he came up with it. No, he fucking didn't, dude. That's Barry Richardson's method, you know? Uh, somebody watching Evan Era's videos, you know, again, barring any sort of other, he could be the nicest guy ever, whatever, but, you know, he really doesn't fucking care enough to tell you, oh, here's where you could learn more. Here's where you could uh, actually, instead, he guides you to his website and you're led to buy a knockoff pen through dollar, a knockoff, you know, thumb tip that was made for a cent, you know, that he bought for. It's just, you know, it doesn't really kind of, it doesn't push magic anywhere. That's, that's my issue with people like that. So I hope that fucking answered your shit. Somebody said pseudo. I don't know what the fuck. Uh, I think crediting wise, you can only reasonably credit where you've originally seen it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I mean, sometimes, uh, well, not sometimes, pretty much all the time. Uh, I'll try to, I'll try to go and do some research on stuff. I'll, I'll go actively and do some research. Um, 
but you're not going to get all of it. You're not going to be able to nail everything and be like, oh, this was a method by, you know, fucking Max Maven and uh, the Blue Set. Like, you're not going to nail everything. But you could at least try. You could attempt. And then hopefully, you know, it, that's the good thing about creating a community like this, that if you do miss something, someone will mention in the, in the comments and say, hey, that's uh, this guy's trick. That's this. And then, then you learn. And that's how people progress. But not, you know, fucking the, the Evan Era style, which is I'm just going to put 10 tricks just for the sake of tricks. Top 10 gimmick card tricks, and then that's it. You're fucked. Uh, what's your favorite peak wallet? Uh, I actually have one right now here. Uh, Stealth Assassin is my favorite peak wallet. Uh, so that's fucking dope as shit. That one is really good. Only because you could do a bunch of stuff with it. Um... Which one else? There's another one. Uh, I know that there's a Bobby Mata one. The That one, I I don't have it, but I do would think that that's a good way to do it because it uses the uh, the cipher principle, that whole cipher uh, gimmick. So it's really, really good uh, as far as that. But uh, I do like Stealth Assassin. It was expensive as shit when I bought it too. It was like 140 bucks when I bought it. I think it's way cheaper now. Uh, and it did come apart. Fucking. Fucking Mark Spellman. Motherfucker. Wait, let me check these here. Yeah, people are going in here. People are going in. So for a. Yeah, I love when you're trying to send a fucking email and it doesn't work. Sand. Cunt. Okay, let me go through these, see if there's any hot ones. Uh, worst peak, placebo. I just emailed you the routine. Oh, that's funny. You didn't even call me cunt. That's fucking great. Uh, David Williamson. I think he's... Fucking magician. He's a great magician. He's a fucking phenomenal magician. The thing is that he not only has a great uh, mind when it comes to creating tricks, he also has a uh, great mentality when it comes to why it is to do the, why he does the things that he does. So, um, you know, and the fact that he does it and he's fucking hysterical is just the fattest bonus. But I got to tell you, I think uh, I think we're good, guys. I think I'm going to call it here. One hour and 42. Uh, I'll probably end up doing another one uh, soon. I'll probably end up doing um, another one uh, before Friday. Because usually I like to stick these to uh, Friday. Um, but seeing that I have some uh, engagements, I need to get the fuck out of here. So what else? What am I going to show here? I'm going to show uh, pigcake.me. Make sure to check that shit out if you haven't already. Uh, pigcake.me. Hotness, uh, that's some hotness. Make sure to add an extra W to that because I'm fucking retarded. Uh, what else do I got? You got um, you got Patreon, that's good. You got Twitter, make sure. Uh, make me a social media entrepreneur on Twitter, that's hot. Uh, Instagram, pickcake 69 uh, Get big, get your dick big. Um, what else am I shilling? That's that's pretty much all I'm shilling. There y'all go. Uh, I hope everyone doesn't get leprosy. I hope you guys don't get leprosy. Uh, I'll probably end up doing another live stream in the weekend, um, believe it or not, just because there's a, I want to do maybe like a live pig alert. I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, uh, just check out all that shit. Make your dick big. I'm going to go figure out different ways to insert Sharpie markers inside of my anus. <laughs>